Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for our preschool fun program. Uh, today we're going to be exploring puppy paint, which is one of my all-time favorite sensory painting experiences. Um, we are going to use a lot of fun materials today, um, however they are not taste safe, so keep an eye on the little ones, making sure that they don't put it in their mouths. Um, but we have shaving cream. Uh, if you're using it with little ones, you might want to go for the sensitive skin type. Um, or unscented type just to make sure that um, it doesn't irritate their skin. We also have all-purpose glue. Uh, that can be even the Elmer's glue, uh, whatever you have handy. We have some food coloring, a paintbrush, a bowl for mixing, and of course paper. So we have all of our materials and we can get started. I'm gonna turn our camera down here a little so we can see. All right. So the first thing that you should know is that when you're mixing, it can be um, one part shaving cream to one part glue. So no matter how much glue you use, just use the same amount as shaving cream. Um, I'm really good at eyeballing things at this point, so I'm just gonna put some glue in here um, and we'll begin. So I'm gonna mix about a fourth cup of each. So there's our glue. The cat got them. I like to um, mix the food coloring straight into the glue, just because um, I feel like it gives me a better sense of what color it's gonna be. So I'm only gonna do green today but you can do as many colors as you want. And if you have kids, you're probably gonna be roped into doing 20 different colors if you can. <laughs> so here we have our glue and our food coloring mixture. Mix it up nice and complete. There we go. Pretty slimy. It would probably be fun to paint with just this, but we're gonna make it even more fun. So we're gonna take our shaving cream and we're going to do about a fourth cup of this also. Some shaving creams um, will come out super foamy, while others are more of this gel-based kind. But if you're mixing it, um, it'll kind of foam up. So just watch as we get this all foamy. See, that's already foamed up quite a bit. So the thing that makes this work is the combination of the shaving cream and the glue. They kind of bind together and once the glue dries, it dries the shaving cream too, um, but leaving the structure of it. So you get that puffiness just really easily. So there we are. Yeah, this will be much more fun to paint with than just the colored glue. All right, so now we're ready for our actual painting. So I'm gonna do just a simple leaf so that you can kind of get the idea and you want to use as much of this as possible because the thicker lines that you create with the more um, puff you're going to get at the end of it um, once it's dry I like to kind of smooth out my lines a little bit. Um, when you're doing this with your child though, um, try uh, doing different patterns or mixing the colors. See how the puffiness kind of makes a uh, difference when you're mixing. Or um, try the letters of their names uh, because then once it dries, you can kind of trace the letters. So here I have my puffy paint leaf and you can kind of see how thick it is on there. Um, that way it really stands out from the page, uh, the two-dimensional page. Um, but like I said, uh, if you have your child's uh, letters on there, their names, uh, you can go ahead and once it's dry, you can trace their different letters in their name and kind of talk about that. Um, it's a really great way to incorporate early literacy skills into um, your play or your artwork. 
so anytime a child is tracing or scribbling, um, anything like that, it's really preparing them for when they're ready to read and write. So um, incorporating that into this is a really fun way to do that. So I hope you guys create your own um, horrible leaps. <laughs> Um, maybe if I had more time, I'll, I'll fill it in um, and it'll be even cooler. But um, if you guys do create your puffy paint masterpieces, please uh, tag us in the photo for it. We would love to see them, especially when we can't see them and interact with, um, with your kids' artwork uh, at the library on a weekly basis. So we are at MCPL Indiana. Uh, and I hope you had fun, or I hope you will create fun um, after viewing this. Alright, bye.